Hey girl, hey. Mm-hmm. hey. 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 It's the special yeah. edition Hey Girl Hey podcast. Shouts to Urban Media today. I'm your radio chick Kiki Brown on that square is <laughs> Chatter Wait. Chick. Chatter Chick down oh, there. It's, me. it's the Chatter Chick LaShawn Tipton. Hey. <laughs> This one up here in the corner is... Okay, I'm the millennial chick, Jerry Tipton. Portia <laughs> Fox in the building. She's the she's what chick? Down. I'm just the new she's chick. A, the new chick. Right now. The I'm what? Just new chick. I'm just the new chick in the building I'm going right to call now. her the I'm Moscato the chick. sipping chick right now. She is yeah, yeah, sure. Guess right now. Guess what? Uh, okay. I'm here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm over here trying to get the one sheet and stuff, but I'm going to stop because this is going to be a good show because... I'm excited to be here. Thanks, ladies, so much for having me. I'm excited. Yes. I haven't been back in a while. I think I cussed the last time, so excuse me if I slip up again. Well, we're happy oh, yeah, to yeah, have yeah. you. We're oh, happy God. to have you. I, I got some wine. This is a special edition of the Hey Girl, Hey podcast um, because we have to, uh, what is it? The distancing? Um, yeah, social distancing. Social distancing. <laughs> so we're doing this via Zoom. We cannot see LaShawn's face at all, but the picture is beautiful. It's very Thank nice. You. Thank you. Really, I'm, really I, I'm, I'm trying to put my picture, figure <laughs> that one out. I just don't know how to do that. Well, while you, while you do that, we're going to talk gonna about um, the coronavirus, and there's an update. Mm-hmm. Everything is shut down. Everything. Everything is shut down, but not everybody gets the memo because folks are still out. Not participating in the social distancing um how how is your Portia I know b- about you because we work together but with all this that's been going on how's your life changed from all this oh it's been so much more peaceful it's so much more peaceful it's so yeah. much more peaceful yeah okay. I, I'm appreciating the social distancing time I really don't like to be as close to people contrary to popular belief. So mm-hmm. I'm really enjoying this time to just be with self. That's really what, no, but mm-hmm. there's, it's, this time is annoying. It's, I've, I've, I'm enjoying my solitude. Yes. I'm, I'm happy about that, but it's annoying going to a store and just seeing the park a lot full of people. You know, there's more than 250 people in the store at that time. Mm-hmm. And now you're about to enter into a battlefield. Cause now your mind's playing tricks on you mm-hmm. and like you're paranoid going through the aisles. You're 17, you're counting people like, okay, there's, there's 12 people in this aisle. I can't go in this aisle and you can wait. You're doing that? There. Wow. I'm seeing people do that. Like I got caught in the in and out in Target. There was a couple who was trying to come in, but there was maybe like six people. And you know, the aisle was kind of small. Mm-hmm. It's not that big. You won't be kind of close, less than six feet. So they stood at the end of the aisle. They looked at each other. They was just like, I'm not going in there. And they stood there until, and I looked at them because I'm trying to get out, but they're in the way. And then there's, there's like seven people. I'm like, this is too much. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the store. That's why I'm like, I don't even want to go to the store no more. Yeah. It, 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 makes not, it makes you not oh. to go to the store mm-hmm. at all. I mean, as so my full-time job we've been working from home my part-time job i had to cut down my hours a bit because i was taking my client out you know to the community Mm -hmm. and um i cut her down to like one day a week but of course you still have to go to the store so it's like how much social distancing are you really doing you know what i mean you're not going as much as as you should but just like you said portia I had really bad, well, I had bad anxiety. So if I go to the parking lot in Aldi's or John Eagle or whatever, and I see all these cars, I'm like, I don't know what to do. You know what I mean? But I have to go in there and get food. Like, right. You just, yeah, and it's like, oh, I don't want to deal with this. There was one store I went to, there was no cards. I had to use one of the little baskets. Luckily, I didn't need that much stuff. And then the lines were in, like, in the aisles. Like, it was just way too much this is going to be too much there's still no toilet paper your hand sanitizer or wipes that's everywhere insane. I they, they mm-hmm. can't even replenish that stuff fast enough they replenish the whole chicken but not the toilet paper yeah like there's hardly anything in the store i just my thing is this why did it have to take for a virus to for people to really have to buy wash so, their hands sanitize, wash their hands like, why wash have to their hands like, like yeah. this, this is something that should be done on the daily like my mom 
always buy like salt and Clorox like so we have some left over from when we had before you yes. know what I mean like we're not going to the store buying three four five bottles at a time and all you this pull up but yeah like we do it on the regular like but why did it have to take for this to happen like it's it's coming too much it's overwhelming at this point what about you Sean um well this has been a very enjoyable time for me uh yeah <laughs> No, but actually, it really has because, you know, um, as much as I think that I'm an introvert, I don't like for someone to tell me that I can't leave. Mm -hmm. So it has really, really settled me where I really, I'm going to tell you something. I've been spending some time with the Lord and we got a chance to know each other. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm praying for for people that, you know, I thought I wasn't cool with. I'm like, Lord, bless them. Because yeah. in this time, you don't want nothing to happen to somebody. So it's, it's actually a very good time, a good time for me. So I was, I've been I, doing really well. I was talking about what we miss earlier. Um, I miss social interaction. I miss yeah. actually having conversation with people, not being afraid, um, counting people like Portia said in the aisle. Okay, there's just way too many people here being paranoid. Um, I miss being at church. Um, I wasn't a person that was into the hugging. And our church, LaShawn and I go to the same church. We are a hugging church, child. You hug, you like a way. And Mm. I miss it. I I miss hugging. You miss hugging? I miss interaction, socializing, networking. I miss going to a happy hour. But here's the thing, though. I never went. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. You went went whenever, whenever it suited you. Whenever you had the opportunity, the energy, and you wanted to go, you had the choice. It it was funny because you had said at work uh, the day we were supposed to be quarantined. I want to go out. I want to go. I was just like, it's the day we're supposed to start staying in the house, and you want to go outside now. And I'm just like, it's crazy how the mind works in that aspect because. And that's all, it's crazy how much we all have some rebellion in us. Right. The, the, yeah. the most sanctified saint is somewhere upset. They cannot go outside to Bible mm-hmm. study. And they're mm-hmm. willing to risk it all to go to church. Because mm-hmm. you can't tell me that I can't, you know, it's just, and, and I, point I was, I'm sorry, I forgot that I was going to say earlier. This thing isn't going to stop until they shut everything They shut down. everything There's down. not going to be any mail carrying. There's yep. not going to be any stores open. So yep. it's just like people, I, it's not because it's safer to be at my office right now than it is to go to the grocery store. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sean. Oh, you saw the little thing. I was just fooling around with this. Uh, I'm so, <laughs> she so, LaShawn raised her hand. Yeah. <laughs> she raised her hand. Uh, she, <laughs> we're at a uh, through text. She used yeah, it on you, Zoom. Yeah. Go ahead, Sean. You what can you use say? it on Zoom to raise your hand. And actually, I wasn't raising my hand. I was actually texting somebody else to make sure I was. <laughs> <doing something. laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because it, 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 it's funny. When somebody tells you you can't do something, that's when you really yeah. wanted to do it. And it's not that you wanted to do it before. You know, you ain't never want to go to no happy hour before. You ain't never wanted to be right. no hugger before. Right. Now, oh, like, now you got to change for some cafe. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we don't have the option anymore. Before we had the option, right. and we, if we were okay with not going, it's fine. And I'm a little bit of an introvert myself. <laughs> But now I'm like, I wish I could go to a happy hour or go out to eat with some friends or go to a little bar or something. Now it's like you can't. So you're just really sitting here like thinking like what what's going to happen next? You know what I mean? And it's not going. You're right. It's not going to go away until they shut everything down. The cases are getting bigger and bigger. We're going to be quarantined for Easter. No Easter. It's going to be, it's a, a, a definitely a different type of world now. Yeah, it is. Right. Yeah. Well, and that's cool. It's cool. It teaches everybody, people that weren't used to their kids being around, you got to get used to it now. Yeah. People that didn't, you know, they weren't family people and they didn't spend the time together that we should to, to help our families. We got to do it now. So this time is a pivotal moment in our life that we needed to take this time to be with our family. So, come on. Yeah. It's, it's all right. The thing I like them, I Coming love off the, the bridge. 
I love the memes when it says parents who are homeschooling, uh, you know, the parents will be like, I, Tim got 10 MF and apples. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> yes. funny. Let me show you one more yeah. time. Like parents have lost it. My thing yeah. is, if, if uh, you had a date set for, you know, when, when were we quarantined? Was it last Friday? If like you had a date for Saturday. I, like I had a I had a date for the Erica Badu concert in Cleveland that was supposed to happen this past weekend. That was my birthday. That was my additional birthday. But yeah, yeah. she performed for a dollar in her and her right, 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 right. And yeah. I missed it because I was working. So. so dating is is canceled now. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no it thanks was, for me, y'all. <laughs> yeah, it was. No. It was never. It was never really there for me right now. So, <laughs> right, so going, that's well, what I'm saying. From somebody so, who's in a relationship, nothing has changed. It's yeah, the same, it's yeah. the same yeah. thing. So, <laughs> yeah, mm. yeah nothing has changed. The only thing that's different is like, can you go to the store? No, can you go to the store? I don't want to. Yeah, go together. So, right, you know, it's it's different, but. I just wanted to know as far as the update and how much it's it's uh it's changed your lives. I, I definitely want to commend, you know, we're we're in Pittsburgh, so I mean around the world people are doing a lot of things just trying to adjust to this new new way of life. One thing I, I will say is I love the fact that our DJ stepped up and started this club Rona or uh club quarantine or whatever you call it, and a lot of the DJs um, have started doing some live DJ sets. That's cool. Yes. Yeah. Oh. DJs, Motorman, and uh, Selecta, and uh, Black Steel, and TJ, and, and so mm -hmm. many of them. And even uh, DJ D Nice, internationally known. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Folks are enjoying the home life now. They're trying to be, yeah, they're, right. they're becoming very creative. Yeah. With while being in the house, they're doing more. I've seen, like, uh, virtual happy hours. Yes. People are playing games. Concerts. Um, concerts, you know. I even seen someone do, like, a book club. Yes. Like, they're making a way, you know, and it's yes. going to make the time go faster. Right. I'm doing the book club. You're, I'm you're doing, doing the book club. Because you're a woman, the local of artist. Artist. a woman of a certain age, dude. Yeah, I'm trying to highlight, like I recently, I post, posted on Facebook, I highlighted two friends have written books, and I have other friends that have as well. And I really, you know, I would buy their books, but I really haven't had the chance to really read them. To read them. So this mm -hmm. has caused me to read their books. So right, yeah. I'm doing a review. Because there's, there's a lot of talented people that have written some pretty heavy books here in Pittsburgh. And now I'm out there like, hey, this book is really good. You should try it. I mean, we got to start, you know, promoting our own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was pretty bad. I was pretty bad about that. Pretty bad. We're I would buy it. Free books. Yeah. Yes, I actually just ordered, a, I ordered a few books uh, today. And I can't yes. wait. Did yes. Amazon yes. want to take me What did you think yeah. about the movie? Um, so I didn't like the, um, I didn't like the message of the colorism. I didn't like the whole light skin, dark skin. Um, I didn't like the fact that in the, in the, in the series, um, it, it made, even though, and I'll elaborate on this a little bit more in the show and in the series, it was like, she put everything else above her husband, above CJ and uh, mm -hmm. the book. It wasn't necessarily that way. She was definitely driven and very bullheaded at times. <laughs> But she really loved CJ and she admired, like, she met CJ um, at a meet, like, so one she minute. met CJ at, like, a, a, on a podium, like, he was, it was at a picnic and he had came and he had spoke and he, he was drunk, like, drunk, drunk, what? She was drawn to what he was saying. So the whole depiction of them two and how he was feeling, even though the relationship did end at the mass, I didn't, it wasn't as dramatic as the movie. You know what I mean? Like it was, it wasn't, it was it happened in what, 19? It was like the 20s. Oh, yeah. Not even the 20s yet. Cause she passed in 1919, I believe, but oh, it wasn't even, it, it was, it was before that. So it wasn't as dramatic. Right. And the whole, uh, the, the, the whole light skin, 
and her it stealing. Questions. It wasn't. It wasn't exact to the book. And her stealing. I think I had the biggest like issue with stealing. Yeah, I mean, no. I, I mean, I'm glad that they, no, no. I'm not glad that they did it. I could have did it without it. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I wanted to see it. And it was crazy because I started reading the book way before I even knew that this thing right. was even happening. Right. So mm -hmm. when I heard about it, I was excited to see it. I stopped reading the damn book. Like, I, I got my chapter 27, but it's just so like, but I was reading that thing so like nonstop. I'm like, all right, I'm going to give myself a break. So to see that, it's just like, yeah, that's not what I'm reading. And they could have did a lot more. Who was some people standing? And I know who they were, but who was some people who was standing with her at the podium? I'm getting her mother and father, but y'all had glimpses of that, but y'all didn't elaborate on how they died and how important that factor was. Her brother going to Denver, like, and, and even where they, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. We got to <laughs> because she told me about oh, I'm sorry I didn't mute <laughs> way before the movie. We don't want to I don't want to tell you how it ends, LaShawn. Um <laughs> but we don't, have don't do that. Talk don't about do that. Some hood heroes uh in the whole corona community. Yeah. Okay. We'll be right um, back. It's the Hey Girl Hey podcast, Urban Media today.